Hey, it's your girl Ty. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed as of yet, please do so at this time. I would greatly appreciate it. My channel is all about contemporary and luxury goods from handbags to shoes to coat clothing. If that is something that you like to watch or you love, you are a collector of luxury and contemporary goods, please just keep watching. Welcome back everyone. Today's haul is centered around Gucci and Celine. So as you know, I am still selling, celebrating my birthday during the whole month of March. Um, and so I did upload part one of my birthday haul last week. This week is all about part two those items that just came in. And so I would like to share with you what I got from Celine and what I got from Gucci. All right, the first item that I would like to share with you comes from the design house of Celine. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I really want um, a Celine Triumph bag but I'm new to the brand. And so I wanted to dip my toe in the house just for a little bit and then truly make up my mind whether I want a Celine Triumph bag or not. So the first item that I wanna share with you is in this dust bag right here. Let's open it together. The first item that I got from the house of Celine is my natural calf skin Triumph belt. I like the Arca Triumph so much that I said, you know what, let me see if I even like the belt and the leather first, then I can purchase the bag. So it comes with this beautiful buckle and we're going to peel off that plastic together. So you see it has Celine at the bottom and it is that natural calf skin leather. And some people would say, well, why would you get the natural calf skin? I actually like it when leather, it looks worn. And so it does have Celine stamped in there, Celine Paris, but I love it when my Louis Vuitton Vachetta gets old. I love the look of that. And so I couldn't help but to get the natural calf skin in the leather belt. Now, when it comes to the Triumph bag, I don't think I'll get the natural calf skin, but I am looking at the dark stone color. They had a um, chestnut color as well that I like. And so right now I'm going to enjoy the belt to even see if I will enjoy a Celine bag. As you know, Celine uh, Triumph bags have gone up to $4,000. And I'm just not sure that I'm willing to spend that much yet, seeing that there are lots of reviews out there that say that once you put lotion or hand sanitizer on your hands, that you cannot touch the leather on those bags because um, it will leave a mark. Um, you can't take it out in the rain. There's just a lot of you can't involved in the, the Triumph bag. And so I really am trying to see if that's something I want to navigate, but I know I've seen Celine bags that are vintage that look beautiful. So I'm not scared of the aging. I just would hate to have a bag for one week and see a mark because I have lotion on my hands all the time. Um, and so I would be afraid to um, get any fingerprint lotion marks on that. But that is my Celine, my first purchase from Celine. The next purchase is in this box right here. And it is not a bag. I did, while I was in the Celine boutique, I did see some shoes that I liked. And so they both come in their own individual dust bag. And I really don't have the name of these shoes off the top of mine. I'll have to put them in the description. I'll have to link them in the description box. But they are a pair of sandals from Celine. 
And when I tried these on in the boutique, they were absolutely comfortable. And so you see they have Velcro here, Velcro here. Um, and it's a, um, it's not leather. It's just like a, I don't know what kind of material this is, but there is leather in the insole. And so to me, when I think about a comparison, these have the lug boot feel. So this sole is, it's really heavy, but when I tried it on in the boutique, um, it wasn't too heavy to walk in. And so this is what the sole looks like. And that's what they look like. So I absolutely love the sandals. Uh, I will do try to do my shots in the end so that you can see how they look on. Or I will insert some photos of when I was at the boutique. So those are my Celine sandals that I purchased for my birthday. I'm so excited to have them in my collection. Um, and I can't wait to wear them. All right, the next design house that I received some items from is Gucci. And so I haven't, but well, that's a, that's a lie. I did buy a Gucci belt last year because I needed a, a thin black belt um, with silver hardware for my work um, pants. But I did go into Gucci uh, my birthday weekend and I saw some very cute shoes. So they are in this box. We're gonna unbox them together. This is what it looks like on the inside. They come in their own individual dust bags. Let's see what we have. Are you ready? Can you guess what they are? I don't have the name of them either, so I have to put them in the description. So everyone is all about the blue jean craze. I mean, we were buying blue jean bags from Louis Vuitton years ago. I want to say in 2000 when it was popular. And so it is back by popular demand. And so these are the blue jean Gucci sandals or slides that I purchased for my birthday. They are so comfortable. They have the GGs within the sole. This is actually leather in sole. And so it has the Gucci right there. These are so comfortable. So I am going to be enjoying my Celine sandals as well as my Gucci sandals. How do you like them? I love them. All right, so that is my Gucci slides or sandals or whatever you want to call them. I have so many bags. I said I decided to start buying accessories for my favorite design houses. So that's three accessories for you. All right, the next thing that I purchased um, is for my husband and I purchased him something from Gucci as well. Can you guess what it is? If I can get it open. I purchased my husband, a husband some Gucci sunglasses. Let me get them out. They come in this beautiful velvet box or sunglass case. I will link these in the description. They are new. They just came out. And so this is what they look like. So they, to me, they have the aviator, not the aviator, the Ray-Ban feel. I think these are absolutely stunning and they are durable. So when I, when I look at these shades, I know that they're not going to be broken. I won't have to worry about them. And of course, they're my husband's. But you already know, <laughs> your girl is going to be wearing them. I wear my stuff all every week, all the time. My husband kind of saves up his items. Um, 
I don't know, he saves them up and he, he just brings them out on occasion. But I'm the type, when I purchase something, I'm going to wear them. So those are the Gucci sunglasses that I purchased for my husband. All right, here is the next item. And this item is for him as well. Comes in this box. And I purchased him the Gucci belt. I think in one of my previous videos, I shared um, the other belts that I purchased for him. And he actually took the blue one back um, because it had like a suede on the inside and his blue jeans were rubbing on it. So he ended up getting this one. It's still the blue GG Supremes, but it has the blue leather on the inside. And so he did get that. So those are two items for my husband. You go, husband. All right. The last item. So you know I can't, I don't, I own two Gucci bags from way back in the day. Um, and they both are the Gigi Supremes, or they're actually the um Gucci Sema. But these bags, and, and one day I'll do a dedicated video, but these bags are very large, right? And so, you know, I'm not into large bags right now. I just don't have anything to put in them. So in order to wear these Gigi Supreme slides in blue jean, I just don't feel it in my heart that I could put a Louis Vuitton bag wearing those shoes. I mean, the shoes are already flashy in themselves. So I thought I needed something very muted um, that wouldn't take away from the shoes so of course i had to get me it was an impulse purchase i had to get me a gucci bag so let's see what i got and i don't know if i'm going to keep it but right now i need something that will go with my slides so let's see what we got in here this is how it comes all wrapped up and beautiful Here is the dust bag. Can you guess what I got? It's an all leather bag, which is surprising because this bag is an all leather bag. You can wear it three ways. It comes with three straps and it was only $1,900, $1,980 USD. But when you go in my favorite design house, Louis Vuitton, you're going to spend well over $3,000. So the bag that I got is the gucci aphrodite bag and when i saw this i said oh that's perfect it doesn't have ggs all over it it's muted it's white it goes with the white ggs in my bag in my shoes but this is the gucci aphrodite bag it puts me in the mindset of my prada um re-edition i think that's what it's called but this is what it looks like. And so it comes with, where, where are my straps? It comes with a chain strap and it comes with an extension, a extender strap. So you can wear cross body or you can put the chain, you can wear it with a chain. And it is an antique gold hardware. So this is the chain that goes on the bag as well. So you can wear it as an armpit bag. You can wear it with a chain on it, or you can make it a crossbody. Now, the thing that I absolutely hate about this bag, and let's look at the inside of it. It has a card slot holder on the inside. But the thing that I don't like about this bag is the zipper you see how raggedy that zipper is and it's not even antique gold so that that bothers me just just a little bit not enough oh now it's gliding it wasn't gliding at first but just think if you have this on your shoulder 
Well, if you got it on your shoulder, you're going to have to take it off to even open it up. But if, if zippers like that bother you, then this isn't the bag for you. Let me put the heart, the chain strap on it so you can see how it looks with the chain strap. That's how it looks with the chain strap. This is a beautiful bag. I am really loving it. I was going to take it back, but I love it. That's what it looks like with the chain strap. Now, let me see if I can put the crossbody strap on it. Let's see how this goes. Bear with me just a second. Matter of fact, I'll come back. I'll put the strap on and I'll come back. All right, the strap is on. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. So this is the original strap. It attaches to this buckle here. And then this buckle attaches or this buckle attaches to this strap. And then this buckle attaches over here. So if that bothers you, you might not need to get this bag. But absolutely gorgeous. I will do my shots so you can see how the shoes look on me. I will also do my shots of the bag i won't do a my shot of the belt because i have on um one of my favorite nike um jogging suits today so when i do put the uh, celine triumph belt on i will put it on instagram in the pic but that's all i have for you thank you for watching have a great afternoon morning or evening evening wherever you are um and stay tuned for more content take care and be well bye bye